Hi everyone, Fridhvi from TGT and welcome to another quick update video about Safari. In our previous video, we discussed about Apple releasing Safari 15.1. Now, with the public release of macOS Monterey 12.1, Apple has also released Safari 15.2. I have made a separate video about macOS Monterey 12.1 as well. If you have not watched it yet, I will link it on the end screen of this video. So if you have already updated your Mac to macOS Monterey 12.1, you already have Safari 15.2. It came pre-installed with Monterey 12.1 and iOS iPadOS 15.2. To check, open Safari and then go to About Safari. And here you can see the version is 15.2 and the build number as well. Now for the reference, I am running macOS Monterey 12.1 in this mid 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. But if your Mac is running macOS Big Sur or macOS Catalina, then you should see Safari 15.2 as a separate update. To check for the update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update and you should find your update there. With macOS Monterey 12.1, Apple also released macOS Big Sur 11.6.2. So if you are running Big Sur, then you have a version update as well. Before the update, you need to close the browser and this update should take just a minute or two to install and do not require system restart. Now about the features, this version of Safari doesn't actually have any specific visible changes like the previous version but contains a number of new features from the developer's point of view such as support for the file system access API for creating or iterating files in an origin specific storage space, expands addressable memory to 4 GB, added zero cost exception handling support, then a new rendering feature support for canvas and many more. This version also has some resolved issues as well. It fixes issues such as opening local HTML or web archive files from the desktop, documents or downloads folder. Some fixes related to XTR and WebGL. Also a fix for microphone switching during FaceTime calls for Safari on macOS as well. All these are mentioned in the developer release note of Safari 15.2. Also from the security point of view, this is a major update. Let's go to the Apple security release note page. And here we can see this version contains a number of WebKit updates for both macOS Big Sur and macOS Catalina. As you can see, a buffer overflow issue was addressed with improved memory handling. An integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation and many more. You will find this note linked in the description box below. Now about faster performance. Well, as you keep using the browser for the day-to-day -day activity, you will eventually know that. In this 2017 MacBook Air, Safari 15.1 was running OK, I should say. This version should be good as well. Nothing fascinating, nothing irritating. Do share your experience in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. Please like and share this video as well. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.